standing here with Miss Deborah Martin Chase. Thank you so much, first of all, for paving the way for so many of us. You have just blown the trail out. Talk to me a little bit about the industry and how it's changed from when you first stepped foot. You know, I, I have reflected upon this a lot in connection with this award. And you know, listen, there are, there's a lot more to be done. We need to have greater diversity in the, you know, in the executive suites at the, at the film companies and behind the camera in particular. However, when I first started in this business, and you know, and I have a law degree, and I'm, you know, I'm not, know. An, I'm not an insubstantial person, right. but honestly, I would walk in a room and people would assume that I was the, the secretary. Wow. It was like that that total disconnect. They just couldn't they just would not go to the place that I was an executive and so and in the and it was also important in the beginning for me to prove that somebody who looked like me could be a producer of major movies because it really hadn't been done before. So um, so that's changed obviously tremendously. Okay. What's my next question is what do you think African American women who are interested and having a leadership role in this business, what, are, what, what do they need to do to get to your level? You know, because everybody thinks because of new media that they can take some sort of shortcut and become Deborah Martin Chase and take a shortcut and be Angela Bassett and there's, you know, no they, they don't I get mean, it. Listen, every now and then someone gets extremely lucky and they come out of the box with something. And, and But you know, at the end of the day, this is a game of longevity. And so you have to, I, I, I always say, you have to learn your craft and you have to have the experiences that give you the wisdom so that you can stay in the game because you're going to have ups and you're going to have downs and you have to have the, the confidence and the skills to pick okay. yourself back up and keep going. Okay. I read an interview or watched an interview with you where you made it a point that your agent not just pitched you for African-American projects, but for projects that, of course, are open to a wider audience. You know, when was it that you decided that, you know what, I need to broaden my canon? I need... I had been, you know, it was... Um I had a couple of movies under my belt, okay. and uh, I realized, you know, and you look around, and I got every African American project, and that was, came into town. Okay. And I was like, and I went on a campaign with my agency, and I said, look, you need to send me what you send the white guys. Right. Like, okay. why aren't you sending this and to me? And that's how Princess Diaries was born, yeah, correct? Exactly. Okay. That's exactly right. And so something came in, and they were like, okay, it was right after I did uh, Rogers and Hammerstein's Cinderella. Okay. So okay. they said well this might be in your wheelhouse but you know I had to really actively expand people's horizons okay. well you've did a wonderful job thank you congratulations thank you. and I'm thrilled so, to be on it tonight so well deserved what does this night mean to this industry African American yeah. Film Critics Awards where well, we're so kind of boxed out of some of the other you know, awards to me this is about the the black Hollywood community coming together and I think that we need to support each other much more than we do because we're all we 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 we're on standing on each other's shoulders and if we don't help raise people up and support them and help them you know find jobs and everything else we're not helping ourselves because someone else's success only makes it better for right. all of us. Your success is my success. Why do you think we're so afraid? Why do you think some people are just, there's such a large level of trepidation you know, to invite someone in and say, you know what, I'm going to mentor this person. I'm going to take this young person I up think, under my wing. You know, Why Hollywood, are we so afraid? you know, this is an inherently insecure business. And so, I, and it's intensely competitive. And people get caught up in it, and they get isolated, and they think, oh, you know, there's only gonna be one, and, and so I can't help anybody else because they might take my spot. It's not the way to look at it, because right. success begets more success. Right. And the more people that succeed, the more doors are open for everybody. Right. Well, thank you so much for your time, You're Ms. Welcome. Chase.